Okay, so the other night I posted and shared with only a few people a mock-up of my special project, a secret project, I'm going to call it, which was to make the button on my Hangster counter pressable. Obviously, with a resin counter, it'd be a very substantial mod to make the button actually reset the numbers, and given the fact that primarily people put significant numbers into their counter, um, resetting it kind of defeats the purpose of setting a number in there. So I set about um, making the button that works. This is the the final set of pieces. It's not glued together or anything. I still need to make my numbers, but uh, here's the button right here, and you can see that it presses and returns to its proper location. Um, I've done a lot of modification to the Hengster counter tonight. Uh, the slots underneath have been cut out right up here. Uh, the Spaced on the bottom, where it would have been passed through right, right across here and down the two pieces right here, have been cut out. Uh, I cut three millimeters or sanded three millimeters off of the top of the Hengster counter to allow for the three millimeter ABS cover plate that would go on there. And I've just finished being very hard at work learning how to create a counter window, which you can see is in place. It's it is clear plexiglass, it is rounded in shape. Uh, you can see through it, there's, there's no numbers in there right now, but you can see through the window, you can see the reflection a little bit there. Uh, the button is here and the button is pressable. The mock-up I did the other day, I drilled the hole in the actual counter piece off-centered, so I couldn't actually get the couldn't get the uh, button to push. It was lined up wrong. The button was uh, drilled into the hangster counter over here instead of offset to towards the in the middle, towards the inside. So I had to take it all apart and put some bond on there and redo it. Um, but here's how this works. You've got your button, which I still need to drill the hole into actually, so I guess it's not quite complete final. Um, you see there's a spring underneath of it. There's a button. Here's the cover with the counter window in place. Uh, you can see through it fairly well. It's not perfect, I guess, but here's the button. Uh, you can see that it's standard size, three millimeter by 10 millimeters wide, but underneath of the actual counter plate, it has little feet to stick out. Those feet are <laughs> straddle the spring, which is cut into the actual counter itself. And you can see right there, there is a hole uh, way down, kind of recessed in the center there, you can see a little bit uh, where the spring sits, and then everything else goes in there. Uh, much like Steve had his issue today about nearly drilling through his magazine, you can see right there that I came very, very close to drilling right through the side of my Hengsler counter while cutting out the slot for the for the, the button. So, uh, so that's it. It's I'm excited about it. Here's the actual, let's see the counter window. You know, you can see right through there, it's very clear that says Dremel. You can see, you know, whatever else is under here. That's a little bit difficult. I don't know what it actually says, but you can see all the numbers and everything in there. I've still got to make my counter numbers, uh, but to assemble this, what I'll be doing, you can see I've got the spot outline for the numbers there. I'll be securing the numbers. I'll be putting, you put the screw into that recessed hole at the bottom. Um, put your button into your cover plate. Then you just line up the screw the screw, the spring, with that slot and your, and your button, and uh, there you got it, pressable button on a doopy doo resin Hengsler counter. Um, like I said, I've still got to uh, cut the hole in the switch and the button, that's the piece that's missing still. So I'll take care of that before I do my final assembly, once I assemble it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to try to use E6000 for this yet, the spring tension, I don't know if that'll work as well. I keep the clamp on it, obviously, for plenty of time. I have my numbers set into there eventually once I figure out where they're going to be. Uh, but E6000 on this faceplate will allow me to change the numbers later if I want to. Uh, once it's in place, I'll take some sanding pa sandpaper or sanding files or sanding elements of some sort, uh, bondo up the edges between the two pieces, and let that dry, and then go back and sand it down so it's flat and smooth. So here it is, the final piece cut of my secret project, the working 
doopy doos Hengstler counter button. And this will be posted in my build thread hopefully soon. My computer, uh, my laptop charger died, so I can't get into my computer to load any pictures on it. So I'm using my iPad to film a video here, and I still got pictures being taken. But uh, there it is. Very, very pleased with the window and the counter and the way it's all turned out so far. Of course, painting will be the thing that makes or breaks me. So thanks for checking it out. All right, later.